Hi all, and welcome to another episode of T-Shirt Talk, where I randomly talk about T-shirts that I own, that I bought normally from a concert or a festival. Um, today is a band that formed in 1991. They've released 15 studio albums, and they started off as a black metal band, and I didn't really get into them until a lot later in their career, when they changed their sound to become more progressive and that's more my up my street so i first heard an album of theirs and it was this album called reiter or something uh i probably completely pronounced that wrong because they are from norway so i don't know how on earth they say that sorry about the glare but they're a band called enslaved and this album caught my caught my ears i heard it was progressive and it went a bit away from black metal. And I saw them. I first, actually, I first, they were playing at Bloodstock and I missed them. And I was gutted. I don't know how I missed them, but I did. Um, and I remember thinking to myself, right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to make amends here. And I'm going to have to see them. So I did. I saw them on this album tour. Uh, this is their follow-up album. And this one is called In Times. Um, apparently it's a mythological, psychological, some other logical, um, sort of mention about time, uh, and hence in time. So yeah, the cool album, it's quite basic, but the, the logo is cool that the the band's logo is really neat. I like the red and black and I don't know if you can see on there, but there is a couple of figures, um, and obviously the back. Now, I saw them at Wolverhampton. It's mentioned there. I don't know when, where it is, sorry. Uh, third one down. 600 capacity venue. And it was only about half full. It, but they played and they were fantastic. Um, that's the album that I got, which I don't know if you can see, actually. But can you just about see the figures a bit more? Yeah, I think so. It's a cool album. And I saw them playing at Wolverhampton, Slade Rooms. Brilliant. Absolutely fantastic, and it was two days before Bloodstock, and 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 it's really cool if if you've ever been to a concert a couple of days before a festival, like you're excited about the festival because obviously you've got a you're getting everything ready. You should be pretty much packed by then, I suppose. You, you know, you're getting your food, you're getting your beer, and you're getting all your stuff, your tent, all that. You're getting it all ready, and you got your trip planned, and you're possibly off work, and you're excited, and it's all good, right? And then, and if you can ever manage to do it. If you get a concert like a couple of days before, it's even better. It it makes it makes the festival so much more exciting because you're already pretty much pumped up. You've got a gig tonight or you know, like two nights before. And that's what happened to me. So it's two nights before. I went on my own. I just thought I've got to see this band. I missed them. 2015. I think they played 2014, but so I can't properly remember. But yeah, absolutely fantastic. And uh, it was proper good enslaved like i mean like i say that they they uh, they started off black metal i didn't really get into them then but i got into them later when they're a bit more progressive a bit more on my street i was i was a massive opeth fan so so really the tra the tr sort of transformation into listening to um enslaved wasn't wasn't really much it was bang up my street it was like um they do sound like opeth i think um later on anyway i need to go back and check them out and maybe listen to a bit more of their earlier stuff um, because I don't know, I mean, like, they've got 15 albums out, and I know about four. I got, um, this album, which I don't even know what that is, M, E, E, I think it is, or something, I don't even know. And they got this album, which is The Sleeping Gods, which apparently is a compilation of stuff from about 2010 to 11. So, I've got a lot of work to do, really, but, yeah, this was an amazing gig. And it's a pretty cool t-shirt. It's a pretty cool t-shirt. I'd like the black and red. And um, yeah, that's it. Right, see you again next time, okay? Bye.